Uh, so my name is Dr Kieran Taylor and I'm a research fellow here at the Neuroepidemiology Unit at the University of Melbourne. And my other role uh, relating to multiple sclerosis is that I'm a facilitator for the Overcoming MS uh, residential retreats. Um, my other background is that clinically I work as a psychiatrist um, providing care for people with physical illnesses and I'm based in a hospital setting doing that work. Uh, but today I'd really love to tell you about the OMS uh, retreats that we facilitate and we've been facilitating those for a number of years here in Melbourne uh, throughout Australia and also in New Zealand uh, and in the last two years we've uh, started running the programs uh, throughout the UK and last time in Europe uh, for the first time which was very exciting. So the Overcoming MS uh, program uh, as you may know is based really around modification of uh, lifestyle risk factors uh, for people with MS and what the retreat involves is it's a five day program. We usually have 30 participants that will come uh, together for five days in a live-in setting and what we do is we present the evidence, what's the, the science behind uh, what you can do uh, to recover and live well with MS. So there's really, I guess, two parts. One is presenting the evidence around being able to modify your lifestyle and how that's beneficial both for physical and mental health outcomes for people with MS. But we also spend a lot of time uh, at the retreat looking at how to practically do that. So um, throughout the five days, we, we eat uh, a very healthy diet that's specifically tapered uh, to the evidence um, that shows what the best outcomes are for people. So we have beautiful food that's whole food, plant-based. Um, we supplement with omega-3 and flaxseed oil um, and uh, really enjoy eating that diet for the week together, showing people also how they can uh, prepare the food at home. And we cover all, all the different risk factors that uh, are available to, to modify. So we look at um, the role of vitamin D, uh, we look at exercise, um, talk about the evidence for that for people with MS and then of course the, the different um, ways that people can exercise depending on, on people's ability. We also spend uh, a lot of time across the week looking at stress management, uh, so at mindfulness, uh, meditation and helping to manage I guess some of the difficult emotions that can come along with a diagnosis of MS. Um, I think the really special part of the five day uh, lifestyle educational programs or, or retreats as we call them is that it brings together a group of people who are um, I guess really eager to learn about what they can do to improve their health and you find that um, there's a huge amount of uh, knowledge and information shared by the participants across uh, the week but it's more than just the information I think it's the friendships that are formed and the really personal connections between people, many of whom uh, may have never told anyone that they actually have a diagnosis of MS apart from their immediate family. So it's an opportunity across the week to um, make those connections um, and to really uh, become, I guess, empowered um, and to uh, develop a lot of hope around what people with MS can do to improve their health. And the real highlight for me to be able to be involved in these retreats is um, the final day. And that's to see just the transformation in people from the Monday across the week. People who come to the retreats initially um, really quite despondent about what they can do for their health. And by the end of the week, um, feeling like they have a, a whole lot of information and knowledge and also the practical uh, know-how of what they can do when they get home to make these changes. Combined with the support group, um, you know, that they've developed over the week of the other people at the retreat and the wider community that's online for overcoming MS with the uh, website resources that we have. Uh, it's really um, a little bit corny, but it's, uh, it's a part of the, the OMS community and family um, and that's really wonderful to see the changes that happen for people when they come to the retreats.